sing to the, this morning and if you believe join hearts and let's worship Jesus you can put up your dancers feet free free to join us hallelujah Sitting there, praising Jesus through our machine. You can be sitting there, worshiping your father. 
shall sing, angels sing. Come on, sing it. I can't hear you. Come on, scream louder. You know what we be singing, right? Sing it to the Father. One true God we serve. I am that I am, the lady of the valley, the great God who sit upon the throne. He is the he who was and he is to come. There is no God like our God. Come on, choir, you sing. Sing angels. There's no God like Jesus. If you're expecting a miracle in this house this morning, I want you to believe and receive with daily. Come on, sing one more time. Say
Just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him and give him praise. Shala marada gada da 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 Nika para gada mi de shala mara ba, kara bala bada mi agara bruno soko choro mara ba, zanda la bara gada bara bada bada ba, shaka chala bali da gala ba, deje zaga ba. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your grace upon us. Your manifold blessing bestowed upon us all through the week. That we are still counted among the living till now. We thank you for your visitations during the week. You led all to sleep. You woke us up when the time came. You took us out and you brought us in. You watched over our children. You watched over our spouses. We are grateful. That we're able to wake up this morning, took our bath by ourselves, brushed our teeth by ourselves without assistance, and we're standing on our feet. We will not take it for granted. Receive all honor. We we'll give you all thanks. Be with us in this service today. In Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated. Please head usher and head protocol. Please take note from me. Suspend all protocol and offer us the, an usher.
if you're alive this morning, sing it again. to see you in heaven. Will you be there? Let the person respond. If you are alive here this morning, keep on, give the Lord a very big shout. Our Sunday is, this Sunday is loaded because uh, we are going to have workers meeting very shortly. So I'm going to go direct to the teachings of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We began last week to talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The reason why the church is powerless is because of the absence of the gifts. And when a gift is given, the necessary thing to do, the most important thing to do is to receive the gifts. That's one. The next thing to do is to use the gifts. If you don't value the gifts, obviously, you keep the gifts somewhere. And the next thing sometimes you do is to dash it out. But every gift you value, you keep. Is that correct? You preserve. Then you use. Every gift you receive that you value that what it the next thing that you do is that you use the gift and whenever you use the gift you remember the person but here we are given a gift and we need to receive the gift then the giver said these gifts are in diverse forms in diverse areas there is one that you can use and it is only possible for you to, be, to use this gift when you are functioning. And that's why when you were going last week, Sunday, I said to you, remember to bring one person today. Did I say that to you? All right. We will look at, we will see how many people you brought when the time comes. Because except you use, you are available for work. Because the gift is given for the manifestation and for the demonstration of God's power in our generation, in our environment, to make Jesus known. To make Jesus known where you are, to make Jesus known wherever you are. I can't forget a sister who was working in UBTH some years back. And there she was working as a nurse. And she saw a young lady, beautiful young lady, that was attacked with madness. And the young lady was speaking in tongues. She said, no, this cannot be God. This is not right. There is nothing medicine can do here. And what did she do? She said to the mother, listen, I do not think that this is natural madness. I believe there is a spirit behind this. Because this girl cannot be speaking in tongues and nobody can hold her and she's manifesting. And after speaking in tongues, she began to speak di different things. And that was because she is filled with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit prompted her, hey, there is a situation I need you to correct. He said, if you can meet my pastor, this situation will be solved. And the woman came here and said, so, so, so person directed me working in UBTH. I said, yes, I know her. It's my daughter. What is it? 
He said, my daughter is mad in the hospital. As she was talking, the Holy Ghost said to me, you see, the gift of the Holy Spirit, my God, as I was studying last night, I just found out that because you are not involved, that's why you are not experiencing the gift of the Holy Ghost. If you are involved in preaching the gospel to just one person, you will see how the Holy Ghost manifests. As she was talking to me, the Holy Ghost said to me, she's responsible. And that is the gift of the word of knowledge. Talking about the past. He said, you are responsible. She said, how am I responsible? I said, how did you get the baby? She said, I got pregnant. I said, I know. But how? That was when she told me and said, I, I, in my place, in so, so, so place. And I happen to know about this spirit, a deity so tall, this, the breast touches the ground. It's a woman. So every daughter married within that community, within that environment, must pay allegiance to her if she must have a child. And that's what the parents didn't want to do. The parents were Christians, as it were, a nominal one, but they, they, they said, no, we can't do it. Well, one year, two years, to three years, their daughter couldn't get pregnant. So people said, because you didn't do it. You see what is happening to your daughter. They sent for their daughter, and they bought two chicken, went to the river, and pleaded with the goddess. After pleading with the goddess, they killed the chicken, poured the water on, poured the blood on the water, and the girl told the girl, turn back and walk away. The girl turned back and walked away. That same same month, she became pregnant. And guess who she gave back to? She gave back to this girl who is reading medicine in University of Benin. This girl was 18 years. She was reading medicine. And, and, and she gave her life to Christ. She was filled with the Holy Ghost. Then suddenly, the covenant her mother made rose up. The power behind the covenant said, no, we were the one that agreed with your mother that when you come, eventually, you will belong to us. Now that you have decided to belong to another God, whew, she became mad. So I saw it to the mother, this is what happened. So it's like I was narrating the story of her life. She said, but I didn't know that's what happened. I said, that is exactly what happened. That's why your daughter is mad. Go tell them in the UBTH to bring her. He said, no, they cannot because she's very violent. I said, go. Somebody say, go. I said, go and tell them to sedate her and bring her to me. So what is my confidence? My confidence is that at the name of Jesus, every knee should do what? Bow. And at the mention of his name, every tongue will do what? Confess. And he said, this sign shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall do what? Cast a devil. You don't cast a devil in your room. You cast a devil with people who have problems with the devil. I'm looking for the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, give me power. For what? And she brought this girl, when she brought this girl, you could see this girl is a piece of beauty. But they have sedated her. She was walking like this. I heard back my tears. Because this is, the, this is an instrument Satan wants to destroy. And I said to the mother, place your hand on your daughter and now give your life to Christ. She gave her life by force. I was watching one comedy. That, that man preaches by force with Cain. Have you watched it? With Cain, you will give your life by force. So we carry bottles. Says, if, you, if you don't give your life, I will choke you the bottle. <laughs> and the person said, I will give. So the woman gave her life by force. I said, place your hand on your daughter and say, I reversed the covenant I made 18 years ago. And she did it. And I, I stood. One of the problems people do not know is that parental authority plus anointing is greater than pastor's authority when it has to do with your children. 
Did you hear what I said? When it has to do with your child, parental authority and the anointing is higher than the pastor's anointing. So deal with your children than carrying your children to the pastor. Lay your hand on your children. You know your child. You know how you got the child. You know what happened. You know the travail during, prog during pregnancy. You understand. Yes, Even if the father don't understand, you understand. I say, mother. And I commanded that spirit to get out. Who broke the altar of that deity. And command that spirit. I say, get out of her. You spirit of madness that came. And has confused her life. You that entered her life by the blood of chicken. Blood of chicken and the blood of Jesus are not the same. So by the, that blood I come, I overcome you. Get out. And you know what that girl did? She just did like this. And the Holy Ghost said to me, it is over. And ladies and gentlemen, that was over. That was over. And then I didn't see any sign. So they still took her and she was walking like this, walking like this. It was three days later that my, that my daughter there came to tell me that that girl is now normal. And the girl was delivered. And the girl today is a practicing doctor. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying is this. The Holy Ghost power cannot manifest through you when you don't go out to preach the gospel. And when you don't go out to preach the gospel, the Holy Ghost becomes dormant. Then you are not functioning in the kingdom. You are not serving. Serving God is not sitting in the church. Serving God is going out and doing what he did. He said, greater works than this shall you do. Not in your kitchen, not in your home, not in your office. Greater works than this shall you do. Because I go to my father. Anybody ready to do greater works? Greater works until you go out, you will not know. Until you speak to people, you will not know how Satan resists. Until you pray for people, you wouldn't know the prayer will be answered. Until you take step, you wouldn't know God will respond. Somebody say, I hear. I told you last week, there are three categories of the gifts, three of them, they are in three sessions. Did I say that to you last week? I know some have forgotten because what you preach, some hear it, from here it goes this way. Three, there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, just to rehearse for emphasis. Three revelatory gifts or revelation gifts three power gifts and three utterance gifts. And the three revelation gifts are the word of knowledge, word of wisdom, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, and the signing of spirits. The signing of spirits. I just wish I can get there this morning. The three power gifts are the gift of faith, the gift of working on miracles, the gift of healing. And the three utterance gifts are all inspirational gifts. The gift of prophecy, the gift of diverse kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. Now, these gifts are, lay, are placed in order of preference. The gift of word of wisdom is a superior gift to the other two gifts. Because the gift of word of wisdom, which we discussed last week, talks about the future. The gift of word of knowledge talks about the past and the present. And the gift of the signing of spirit is the ability to know the spirit that is functioning in a particular place. Not the ability to know the person who has a bad spirit and a good spirit. Are you here? Come on, are you here? The gift of power. Faith is the highest gift because without faith, no working on miracles and without faith, no healing. 
And gifts of healing are in diverse kinds. Some people have peculiar gifts of healing the deaf. Some have peculiar gifts of healing the blind. Some have peculiar gifts of crippling, walking. Divers, that's why I say gifts of healing. Then you have the gift of prophecy. As the senior gifts, when it comes to the utterance gifts, because the diverse kinds of tongues and the interpretation of tongues equals to prophecy. Only prophecy. Prophecy is the senior gift because prophecy is making known that which is not known. Giving revelation and insight. Just like I'm teaching this morning, I am prophesying. Don't you think so? Yeah, you're thinking so, but I know so. We talked about the gift of word of knowledge. And we saw examples in the scriptures that it has to do with knowing what lies ahead and having wisdom on how to deal with what lies ahead. Because the past is known and the present is known. So if there is anything that keeps people in bondage is the fear of the unknown. And here the gift of wisdom is giving you a little insight into the purpose and the plan of God concerning the future. It's also giving you insight into the devices and craftiness of the wicked one concerning you in the future. So you are well prepared. And I gave you an example. He told us and said that this year is a year that is heavily clouded and that the irrevocable rain will fall. Therefore, return to the place of prayer so that you will be able to escape. Yet people are playing with the place of prayer. Yes, yeah, on Friday, I peeped into the, the Mount Camel. I can count the number of people that were there. Meanwhile, they were praying earnestly. On Monday, our youth gathered. I was in my office and hearing the groanings of our youth. And we have the women. And the women needed to break their fast every Saturday before. They have folded their hands. They want to continue what was happening last year. I forbid the women from doing that this year. That the minimum you will meet this year in this house to pray for yourself and pray for the church is twice every month. That's the minimum. The men, I'm yet to define where the men is. I'm yet to find the men where they belong to. He said, return to the place of prayer. It's, it should be everyone's concern that for us to escape the wind, that we should return to the place of prayer. We have come to the point that in the place where people cooking in the open, by the time you go into the kitchen and return, the pot of soup has disappeared. So who do you blame? Return to the place of what? Prayer. Why? So you can escape. Because he said, dear, I will make myself known to you. He said, seek me first. I am everything you are looking for. If you get me, you get everything. But if you leave me and seek everything, you get nothing. How do I know God's mind? If I go into the place of prayer, that's why we are thinking. First of all, we talked about who the Holy Ghost is. That's the beginning. We began the year with that. We are teaching you now about the gift of the Holy Spirit. Joseph warned Pharaoh of what was going to befall him. And that was how Egypt escaped. Apostle Paul knew that he's going to be arrested in Jerusalem. And he went ahead. We saw the king 
of Israel. That whatever the king of Syria discussed, ah, my God, it, 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 the beauty of this gift is that I can know what you're talking about to me in your bedroom. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? That a whole king sat down in his cabinet and said, we are going to Bobo to capture the Israelites. Only for them to reach Bobo. All their, their intels fails. Why? As the king discussed it, the Holy Ghost bring, brought the Elijah into the meeting to hear what is going on. And he now tells the king of Israel, don't follow Bobo, follow Auchi Road. Then the army waited and waited. Did you not say they are coming this way? He said, yes. Once, twice, three times. He said, no. There is a Sabbath too among us. Now reveal your, show yourself, self, so I can cut off your head. One raise up and say, no, sir. None of us is a Sabbath too. There is a man in Israel. May you be that man and may you be that woman that can hear clearly from the Lord and declare to the people what God says. They can hear and declare what God says. Our marriage is a product of the word of knowledge. That was the only thing that sustained us. Otherwise, everything, see, the word of God is greater than any physical evidence, is greater than every opposition, is greater than gang up and conspiracy of human being. It's, great, it's greater. Somebody say greater. I still remember. Hillary married in April. Is it? No, in February or January. My computer. In February, yes, 25th February, that's when Gillary married. On the 24th, they, 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 then I had, when I give this woman a clap. You know why? A woman who came into the husband's house and meet girls, I had ladies that were living with me. They we are cooking. None of them will say, I say to her, make her touch your breast. None. I was paying their school fees. I was in a meager salary. I was paying their school fees. There are many of them I was paying their school fees. Instead of them not to go to school, I prefer to go on fasting. The first battle my wife had was, they told her that we are the one cooking for our brother. We are not related, though. So she said, I am the wife. They say it's our kitchen. That's the, the first battle I faced. When I returned, I don't know whether, I don't know where to belong to. So I told them, I said, the woman of the house is the owner of the kitchen. So you better submit. And do you know, my wife never suspected me with those ladies. And she didn't fight them. So after the reconciliation, they remained. One of them that, rem one of them that didn't leave for any reason. Others got married, she got married, but they remained in the house. Was late Apostle Jane that was pastoring, that wrote, got her a church in Abo that passed away a few years ago. Remain, she and mama remained like this. Am I communicating here? If you have the Holy Ghost, stop fighting. It, it will show you things that you don't need. Things that will amaze you. You don't need to look at your husband's phone. It will show you. What am I talking about? The gift of word of wisdom. I was ironing clothes. It was on Friday. 
and I was ironing my clothes to about one o'clock in the morning. One of the girls had a prophetic gift and she was sleeping. Other young ladies were sleeping. So I was in the middle of this in ironing my clothes because I closed it. I was the one organizing the wedding. And I just, she just opened, I just hear the door open. He said, thus says the Lord, if you will buy your knees, I will give you the, your heart desire and you will get married to your wife. Then she turned back. I went to bed. I was trying to process what she said. I said, no, let me go and ask her. When I got to where she was, she was fast asleep. My confusion multiplied. When I asked her in the morning, what did you say? She said, me. I say yes. So, so I didn't say anything. No. He woke up at one o'clock. He said, "Thus says the Lord." He said, "He said it's not me." That word. Somebody said that word. That word kept us. When we, we got a, a breaking point, we got to a breaking point. Do you know what it means for your pastor who you are under? I am the leader of the choir. I'm the, the, the financial minister. I am the, 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 the leader of the, 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 the drama wing. I am the youth president. I occupy about four or five positions in the church. They called me, assembled me and said, hey, we know you are anointed and we know God has called you. We have the gift of God. We have the calling of God. Do not marry Florence. Because her parents have refused. Do not marry her. We will get you another one. We will get you. There are many sisters. Choose anyone. We will support you. I say, yes, sir. This is an indication that everyone who supports to support me are going to abandon me. Because those who form the council are the closest friends I had. And you know from that time, all the closest friends took their position to abandon us. Yeah. It, my joy is that they are still alive. They abandon, if you know what abandonment is, they abandon us. And ladies and gentlemen, where do you go from when the church is against you? I thank God for my grandfather. A man who sees tomorrow. The one who saw tomorrow. The late Archbishop Benson Idahosa. He sent for me. He appointed the next in command. The next in command appointed another reverend. Another reverend appointed another one. Because they went, they didn't succeed. When everything fell, he said, go and get what? Married. You think our marriage is normal? No, it's not. Too. That's why we are staying. We are staying. That's why it doesn't matter what happens. We are there. Because what is holding us is stronger than anything that is trying to divide us. Are you listening to me? He said, go and get married. I said, uh, he said, go and get married. I came back and told her that the bishop said we should get married. So how do we marry? Parents are saying no. My parents are saying no. So we started preparing. We started getting to remember what we were told on our knees. Ah, if any one of you pray the way we pray, your marriage will stand. We prepared for marriage before entering into it. You know, what, what, what is amazing me these days is that she will come to tell me something. And she thought I have changed. After talking to me, I didn't say a word. It, has, it didn't start now. She will talk, those days, talk, 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 talk. I will sleep on the chair. She will come and wake me by 5 o'clock in the morning. Because when the problem comes, I don't have a solution. What do you want me to say? I'm waiting for God now to tell me what to say. 
I have not changed. We started preparing. We pre managed to print card. I think that our card is still available after 42 years. The card, yes, is still available. And, and, and we started preparing. No parents, no helpers. You know those who, who promised me heaven and earth because they heard that the church is against us. They refuse. And the church cannot say they won't wait us because Archbishop has given a command. So, that was how we managed. Because in the kiosk here, we bought a ring. The ring changed color after two weeks. A week to the wedding, a week to the wedding, I almost ran into a trailer because I was driving motorbike and I was thinking, trailer almost killed me. Thinking that the people who are supposed to start, people who I labored for days for their wedding, people who I supported with my meager salary, people that I invested my life into their marriage, they abandoned us. The only person I had is my wife. We were together. Whatever she earned, we used it to buy what we can buy. My wife's wedding gown cost 100 naira. Not 1,000. Abby, Abby, 90. Between 90 and 100. That's what it costs. And many people use that wedding gown. I don't know where it got lost. It was so beautiful. Many people use it. They were borrowing and borrowing and until the borrower borrowed it. I, I, are you here this morning? I'm trying to point you to something. When the Holy Ghost is in you and gives you a word, that word sustains you. We, we, we feel pain that our parents are not supporting. She feel pain. But the pain cannot override what we are told. And ladies and gentlemen, we, on the wedding day, we were able to get sure, good God shoe, God suit, get out together, put on some things together for refreshment, borrowed the money. Then, when we were at the altar, we were at the altar. The Archbishop had sent the deputy uh, uh, AIG here, got police to surround the church. The instruction the Archbishop gave, if anyone raise hand, arrest the person. So ladies and gentlemen, here we stand. I don't know what the pastor said. I know that he said, will you? I say I will. But we are looking back because we were expecting other people will raise up or my dad will come with somebody and say we don't support this marriage. Then the, the thing will scatter. So finally, they waited us. Ah, praise God. Do you know the, do you know the, the pain? It, the normal thing in our church is that when those days after wedding you, you change the seats of the church, then the reception will start after taking photographs. They change the seats. When they change the seats, they put the seats of the, the, the reverend of the church, the elders of the church, the deacons of the church, they will back you. None of them were with us. They went into a meeting. Are you here? They, are, they forsook us. But we, we, the reception went through. When they were giving us gifts, they gave us gifts. Honey, I think you should still look for, I think one of the cops is still somewhere. Upstairs. The cop is 42 years now. Do you know what the church gave, gave us? Frame. Picture frame, a, a silver picture frame, and it was 10 naira. 
and I'm the financial controller of the church. Just to demonstrate this, your marriage will not last up to six months. What sustained us is what we had. Are, are you, are you, don't, get, don't be carried away by this story. I'm trying to tell you something. What sustained us is what we had. Somebody gave us a gift to tell you how they derided us. And what was the gift? The loaf of bread. Five naira. You talk to five naira. Loaf of bread. That's what they gave us. Wrapped it. Sweetheart wrapped it with wrapping gifts. One gave us a check of 120,000. Um, 120 naira. Back dead six months ago. And I, we, were need, we needed the money. I carried the, I carried the thing to the, to, to, new, to the bank, National Bank of Nigeria then. They say, sir, did you not see the date? I said, which date? Me, I didn't even know check, check expires. Of course, I never used one before. I was using the passbook. I never used check. They said it has expired. And it's not today that we have the name of somebody's check. We not get the name of the the name who gave us the check the tomorrow, but the God knows the who gave us the check. They said it will not last six months. Ladies and gentlemen, it is forty-two years. One of the things you have not known, the church suspended me two months after my baby was born, or one month after my baby was born. Why? They say my wife was pregnant before we got married. Say, it, how, how come she delivered a baby after seven months and three weeks? They went to the hospital. They got all the details and they found out that my wife was not pregnant before we got married. Then they called the woman who dressed my wife, who was living downstairs. The woman confirmed them that my wife was in her period. They, they, they are fear that day from the wedding to the reception, the white will not be. So they had to put more part so that it will not stain her gown. I didn't taste the fruit until after some days. But, but, but ladies and gentlemen, the, the, what I'm trying to say to you here, we were forsaken. And I was suspended for nothing. So I left the church. I went to one of my friend's church. I was just sitting at the back. I still remember I was wearing white on, on white. Trousers white, everything white. I was there. And do you know the white? It was the white my wife uh, brought for her uniform. I convert them. I convert the white to so safari. And you know, not since white is always sparkling. So I keep on sparkling it. And while I was sitting down there, the Holy Ghost said, rise up and go back to your church. This is not your church. I didn't come this far this way. I came this far by the voice of the Holy Spirit. The word of knowledge. What is it? It is the supernatural revelation by the Spirit of God concerning certain facts in the mind of God. Listen carefully. Supernatural revelation by the Spirit of God concerning certain facts in the mind of God. And this certain fact had to relate to what was and what is happening now. It is a fragmentary part of the entire knowledge, not the total knowledge. It is just counsel of God. God is all-knowing, and by, his, by this gift, he reveals a part. That's why it's called a word of knowledge. He reveals a part of what he knows 
to enable us to carry out our assignment. He reveals to us what was we should know at the moment. He reveals to us what we should know at the moment. And that's where people make mistakes when people want to know more than they should know at the moment. Satan makes himself available. Uh -huh. Are you here? You that is going about and say, lay hand on me. I want to this gift. I want to do this, this gift. I want to begin to know what people, I want to know what, what they are doing. I want to know this. The, the Holy Ghost doesn't move that way. He moves when you are involved. Word of knowledge can manifest through angels, through vision, through dreams, through prophecies, through tongues and interpretation, and through inner voices. Inner voices. Word of knowledge reveals majorly Things that have happened, please take note of the difference. The word of wisdom is things that are yet to happen. Word of knowledge reveals things that have happened and things that are happening right now. It deals with the past and the present. By this gift, God can show you what happened in the past and their effects in the present. He can equally reveal to you what is happening now around you or is around you with or who is around you with a weapon or with a charm to harm you. God can reveal. He can show you By this gift, people's origin of spiritual problems can be identified. Have you observed in church services many times, you hear the man of God call, there is somebody here, this is the kind of sickness you have. And the person will run. That is the word of knowledge in oppression. If you remember a few years back, a woman was here that was pregnant seven years. Can you remember? And she was called. And labor started here. And then one of her sisters carried her to Fed Medical. As soon as she arrived there, labor stopped. By the next morning, they brought her to me. As I started ministering again, labor started. And the Lord said, stop. Let her go through the uh, the baby harvest. It was through that baby harvest she delivered the baby of seven years old in her womb. By this gift. Just imagine you have this gift. Just imagine that this gift is operating in you to show you what was and what is present. There are diverse kinds of sicknesses can be called. I hear the man of God say, I see that there is pus coming out of your right ear. And there is, the person will come out and he said, that pus dries now. Because God reveals to do what? Redeem. So people have gone to church with charms. And the man of God will pick it and say, so, 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 sister, stand, bring your bag. There is a charm in your bag. And this is what you want to do with the charm. Not this fake one they are doing now where they manipulate and they present their agents here and there. And when they call, their agents will show up. No. I'm talking about the new manifestation of the gift of the Holy Ghost. Do you know why we are having fake? We are having fake because people want to manipulate the Holy Ghost. When he has not spoken to them, they want to speak so that because they are called prophets. 
The fact that you are manifesting the gift of the Holy Ghost does not bring you into the office of a prophet. Am I communicating here? The office of a prophet, if the, one of the gifts that operates so much in the office of the prophet is the gift of the word of wisdom. Because the prophet oftentimes speaks of the future. They can speak of the present. They can equally speak of the past, but major gift operating in the office of a prophet is the future and the revelation and the solution to the problem. Am I, am I communicating here? Somebody say positive. Oh, you're not even here. Are you here? The gifts of the word of knowledge. In the Old Testament, the gifts manifested too much. So much with the apostles, with the, with, with, the, with the prophets of old. In 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 22, Saul was hiding in the crowd. Saul was hiding in the crowd. Meanwhile, he has been anointed by Samuel. And Samuel has come to introduce Saul. Saul decided to hide in the crowd. By the gift of the word of knowledge, Samuel picked him up where he was hiding. You can't hide. That's why I'm asking you to yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. So that if anybody with the Namanyama spirit enter here, you go, no. Oh, God. Receive the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. He was identified in the midst of the stuff. He was not even hiding the, inside the people. He was hiding inside the stuff. In 2 Samuel chapter 5, you remember what happened? Gehazi ran and went to meet Naaman. When Elisha has rejected Naaman's gift, Gehazi ran. After seeing the gold, the, the diamond, the, what the man brought to his master, which he knew if the master received, uh -uh, he, he will get a lot. The man said he should go. So just like that, after the guy has been healed. No, now. So when Naaman left, Gehazi followed backyard, ran and met him. Look at what happened. The gift, somebody said the gift of the word of knowledge. In 2 Kings chapter 5, 2 to 24. 2 Kings chapter 5, 2 to 24. 2 to 24. And the Syrian had gone out. Please go, go, I wouldn't be able to read all that. Go to 20. Let me see what 20 says. And Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said, Behold, uh -huh. go to verse 18. In this thing, the Lord pardon thy servant, that when my master goeth into the house of Raymond to worship there, and he leaneth on my hand, and I bow myself. Where are you giving me? Second Kings chapter 5, 18. Okay? Go to 19. And he said unto him, Go in peace. So he departed from him a little, a little way. And but Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said, Behold, my master has spared Naaman, this Syrian, in not receiving at his hands that which he brought. But he brought it from the God 
of the land, from the altar of their land. He made that known to Elisha. And guess what? Receive that which he brought, but as the Lord liveth, I will run after him and take some word for him. After all, through having served, serving no, no reward. So Gehazi followed after Naaman, and when Naaman saw him running after him, he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said, Is all well? And he said, All is well. My master has sent me, saying, Behold, even now there be come to me from Mount Ephraim two young men of the sons of the prophets. Give them, I pray thee, a talent of silver and two changes of garments. And Naaman said, Be content, take two talents. And he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments and laid them upon two of his servants and they bare them before him. And when he came to the tower, he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house and he left the men, he let the men go and they departed. But he went in and stood before his master. And Elisha said unto him, Whence comest thou? Gehazi. And he said, Thy servant went no whither. And he said unto him, Went not my spirit, my heart with thee? When the man turned from turn again from his chariot to meet thee? Is it a time to receive money and to receive garments and olive yards and vineyards and sheep and oxen and measurements and men servants and maid servants? The leprosy thereof of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence a leper as white as snow. Please go back to verse 18. In this thing the Lord pardoned thy servant that when my master goeth into the house of Rimon to worship there and he leaned on my hand and I bow myself in the house of Rimon. When I bow down myself in the house of Rimon, the Lord pardon thy servant in this thing. Verse 19. And he said unto him, Go in peace with your goods. Because the, the man of God understood that everything Naaman brought from Syria had been dedicated to the altar of Rimon. Are you following me? That's why he rejected the gift. And the servant didn't know why he rejected the gift. He went to collect the gift. He thought the man didn't see him. Like some of us here, we do some things. You know one thing that happens to a leader? The leader has ears inside the wall of your house. There are too many things I know that you do not know that I know. He said, my spirit, my spirit went with you. And I saw the man. That was the word of knowledge in action. I saw the man coming down. And he gave you talent, money. And I asked him, is it time? Is it time? He said, therefore, what you do not know is that the things you collected has leprosy in them. Now, carry from now you and your seed, leprosy. 
May you not reject what, may you not accept what your father rejected. Is anybody listening to me? By this gift, Apollos, Apostle Peter got to know what Ananias and his wife did. Acts of Apostles chapter 5, verse 1 and 4. That was the gift that was manifesting. And uh, Ananias came. Everybody was selling what they had. Bring it to the, 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 they would bring it to the feet of the apostle. Ananias and wife sold their own. They decided to divide it and bring some. There is no problem. God will not be angry that you made such a choice. Every choice, every man is a product of his choice. You are free to choose, but you are not free from the consequences of your choice. And guess what? If they had come and told the truth, Peter asked, is this all you sold? He said, yes. He said, why are you lying the Holy Ghost? Thrust threats. The Holy Ghost smote him. He died. Because he has agreed with the wife that this is what we are going to say. The wife came also and Peter said, is this true that this is what you sold? She said, yes. He said, see the feet of those who carry your husband's corpse. Immediately, she slumped and died. The gifts. Can you imagine how powerful the church will be? Can you imagine how powerful individuals will be? Can you imagine how homes will be? This gift. Paul went to in Acts of Apostle. Acts of Apostle. I'm going to close. That's okay. That's okay. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, 6 to 12. Please, let's read. And when they had gone through the eyes unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer. Please take note. A false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. Watch this. And Elimas the sorcerer, for so, he, so is his name by interpretation, which stood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who is called Paul. Look at what happened there. Filled with the Holy Ghost. What happened here is that the gifts showed up. You see, in every circumstance you find yourself, if you are in re good relationship, fellowship with the Holy Ghost, the gift will show up. Feel with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and say, O oh, fool of subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, we do not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord. And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. Church, we are, we are equipped, too equipped to be harassed, to be stranded, and to be stressed. We are too equipped. He's trying to preach to the deputy, but this man has used sorcerer and sorcery to, com to confuse everybody to focus on him. And when he tried to do that where Paul is, Paul knew the spirit that is operating right there and challenge him and say, you know what, to prove what I'm talking to you, you'll be blind for a season and immediately became blind. 
Is anybody listening to me here? In John chapter 4, Jesus told the woman by the well. You remember? The woman by the well. It was this gift operating that Jesus told her, you don't only have one husband, you have had five plus this one six. And told her about her life history. Can I shock you this morning? The things you see with those with prophetic gifts manifesting, you can equally do the same. Did you believe what I said? You can do the same if you can spend time with the Holy Ghost. Your problem is you don't have time for him and you are not involved in any ministry. We are looking forward when you begin to minister as choir, you begin to minister. Suddenly, prophecy will come out of the ministration. Revelation begins to flow through you. That can only be possible when the choir soak themselves in the place of prayer. You don't soak yourself in the place of prayer, you just come here to entertain. After doing all practices, there is no way the Holy Ghost will move if we don't soak ourselves in the place of prayer, either collectively or individually. That's why you see the person handle the microphone and the entire congregation is filled with cloud of glory. Why? The Holy Ghost. The same thing with every department. You can manifest. You, see, the Holy Ghost can show you the person's name, where it's coming from, what he's here to do, the father, the mother. You can. Somebody say, I can. Stop running around. You know, it's this, this thing that is in me. It's in me. That's why in 47 years of preaching, I have had two people, three, prophesy to me. One was in 1995 when I went to somewhere in Africa, I'm trying to recall it, Malawi. And I was very sick. And I was preaching. That was where the woman that got, that was about to die. Me that was sick. God used me to heal the cancer. The woman that was swollen like this in the night, by morning, the woman has reduced to like this and danced with me in the church. Yet I was sick. That tells you that you are not the one using the Holy Ghost. He's the one using you. The man of God saw me there. He said, the Lord has healed thee. I no see nothing. The next prophecy was in 1996. No, it's the same 1995. No, 1990. Yeah, 1995. By Bishop Laju was praying with me under the tree in the museum. He told me, you are going for this course. Because the museum was sending me for an intensive course for one year that is equivalent to national diploma. Because the moment you finish that course, you're going to stretch level seven in the federal. And level seven in the federal was what they were giving people who had, who had ND. Then they give the, those who are graduate level eight. And as soon as I finish, they give me the level seven. You know what he told me? He said, you will do nothing with the, with the school. Which kind of friend are you? We are praying under the trio. We are praying so that you pray for me so that I can go 
and I do well. He said you will get this certificate. You will do nothing with it. And ladies and gentlemen, I got the certificate and I did nothing with it. Then the next prophecy I have had, anybody prophesied to me, apart from my father who prophesied to me when he comes here, the next prophecy I have had was in that 1986. In 86, yeah, Mike was 85. This one was 86. And in that 86, I went into a meeting and the man called me out. The man said to me, prepare the house. For you are going to get into full-time ministry. I cry, no be small. With two children. Where I don't know how I go take feed them. Then I go enter a pastor. Pastor in full-time, not working. Do you know between 86 and 93, nobody told I begged to resign. I had to resign. The, the prophecy came to pass. So all the people with prophetic ministry that have come around me, nobody has seen anything from me. The one day I called them, I said, well, I don't see anything from me at all. You know why? My spirit, my spirit, I believe I have what you have. So if God is going to speak to you, he will speak to me. See that, darling. See, until you get to that level, you will always be seeking for prophecy. Is prophecy wrong? No. Is it wrong for people to tell you what God is saying? No. But whatever is personal prophecy, God has spoken to you before. It's just a confirmation. Somebody say, I hear. Me, I'm teaching good. If you don't clap for me, I clap for myself. <laughs> Jesus told the woman everything about her. And that's how that woman won the city. By this same gift operating in Jesus, in John chapter 7 verse 19, when the Pharisees planned to kill him. Guess what? Ah, God, help us to have the Holy Spirit. To flow in gifts. The brothers came. You know what the brothers said? They said, you are saying you're performing miracle. There is a feast in Jerusalem. Go to Jerusalem, perform the miracle. So that you will be publicized. So that you will be known. Nobody does such a thing in the secret. Jesus told them, my time has not come. He said, you can go. My time has not come. Do you know when they left, Jesus went. And when Jesus went, he hid among the people. Waiting for the time. Waiting for the time. And the feast is going on. And when it comes to the time of the word of God, Jesus climbed the pulpit. And took the book. And began to speak. He, he, he was speaking mysteries. So the Pharisees got confused. They say he has not attended any Bible college. Like many people here believe. Many people believe in many places that this man standing here attended any Bible college. Not true. I didn't attend one. See, I am a mystery. I am a mystery. I'm a mystery. If you, if you catch that revelation, it will help you to believe things I'm saying to you. I am just a mystery. Brought, plucked out of fire. Molded by his finger. And delivered to this generation. In my, in my mother's church, in Church of God Mission, many of them believe that I am a product of... of uh, uh, what do you call the school there? All nation. They believe that I am a part. I'm not. I'm not. It was when the Archbishop saw this man 
It's a mystery. He said, bring him. Let me ordain him. Let's give him a doctor. Let's give him voice. Let's give him, let's give him support. Let, he needs support system for what he is doing. Jesus began to teach. When he began to teach to a point, he said to them, you plan to kill me. He ah! said, this man is a devil. He's a witch. That's the meaning. He's, how can he know what is in our heart? It is by the gift of the Holy Spirit. Oh, God. Can you imagine having the gift and somebody is smiling, came to you and is smiling with you. And this person smiling with you is discussing with you. Please sit down. Is discussing with you the plan that will terminate your life in the next 25 minutes. And is smiling with you. And this gift is in you. And this gift picks it up. You smile. Say, really? Say, that's okay. That's okay. I, I should meet you in that place in 25 minutes. Say, yes. Just walk down to your house. Go and sleep. Because the gift is in you. See. You may not see this woman coming to the pulpit to say many things. But this woman is a dangerous woman that I married. Do you know when our children were in the school? She will be in her house. She will be in the house. She will be sleeping. She will get up and be praying. Early in the morning. She won't tell me. She will go to Binoja school. She will call one. He said, I saw you last night. This is what you were doing. This is what you were doing. To the point, one of the children said, Mommy, you have become a, are you a spirit? <laughs> what she wanted to say is, are you a witch? The guy went to drink beer and the mother saw exactly where and what. He said, how did you know? She came to me, came to me which day? Early in the week. She just came. When I see her come like that, my heart felt. What is she going to say again? He said, call your son. All is not well. Call your son. All is not well. I've been calling him and he's not picking. And when he's not picking like this, I know it's all is not well. He, something is wrong. He, she, it's like she wants to carry me and carry the phone and put my hand in the phone. I was just looking. I said, okay, I'm trying to process. When she left, I called my son. She was 100% right. When I fear her, And what was it? What was it? That was the Holy Spirit. That was the gift of knowledge manifested. She will call the one in America. You said you are in so so place. How do you know where I am? You say, Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Then she will call the one in Romania. You say, This is what you are doing. So, what I do is that I just keep quiet because me, I don't know. I don't know. It, that's, I don't have the gift like that now. How will I know? But she sees, she knows, and she is accurate. And this has happened to her over the years. Before I enter into the explosive ministry, God showed her. God showed her when the thing has not been born. God showed her of the international ministry and things that will be going on in the ministry. That is the word of wisdom. But this one that she's knowing what is happening in, in, in Spain, in her room. I'm afraid. Like I said before, you, you don't need to you don't you don't need to look at your husband's phone or look at your wife's phone. You just trust the Holy Spirit. 
He will tell you what has been going on. Did you see the man who swallowed food yesterday? You didn't see it. A man swallowed food when the wife wants to know what is in the food. He swallowed food. They had to rush him to the hospital. Thank God he didn't die. They had to sedate him and they brought out the food. And where many can a bomb panile or Londiana carrier papando camere okay him the me in a tally. Somebody shout amen. The word of knowledge. I'm going to stop here, ladies and gentlemen, because of our meeting this morning. I was sick, very sick in 1983, 84, 85. Nobody knew. One thing about me is that I'm sick, you wouldn't know. None of you had known that I had been sick from 7th of October until now, very, very sick. I won't tell you. But God has taken care. So I, I, I was sick. Sometimes I will preach here, you don't know what I'm going through pain. Do you know what it means to be under pain 24-7? For six months. 24, in fact, what are six months? From April to that October. Then October, a different one started. For no just reason. A friend, in my interpreter in, in Congo on the 7th of October did some, said something, I just want to laugh. I just had a sharp pain. I heard myself. What kind of pain is this? Throughout the night, no sleep. By the next day, they put me on drip. That was how the journey began. Do you know when I get to back to Nigeria here, and they started, some of you saw I was carrying canola. I carried canola, and I had 40 intravenous injections, and the sickness did not shake. But I'm still standing. So I was sick. My wife got con contacted a consultant. I remember one of the tablets. I can't forget. It's called Cafigot. They gave it to me. You feel like I go crazy. I must take and I just think before I will preach. Because when I preach, it's like my head wants to split. And this went on. There is nothing I didn't do. No fasting. It was the word of knowledge. In one day, I was so tired. I was, I was praying. This kind of prayer, I was praying... I need God to show me what to do because I can't continue like this. It may, therefore means ministry will end. And I saw myself when I was eight years old. I saw my paternal grandmother. I saw the things they were doing when I was eight years old. And I had a voice. That is what is wrong with you. And what was it? My, grand, my paternal grandmother believed that I... I am the reincarnation of a husband who was caught, the mother thing, they cut his head. So she had always been saying that the kind of headache I have is because of that cut. It was in that dream I now saw the things they did to appease the God that is now fighting me. When I woke up, I told my wife and the children to get out of the room. They got out of the room 
I took toilet tissue, put around. I began to minister to myself. I vomited. I vomited and vomited. I finished one toilet roll and a half. After that vomit, that was the end of the sickness. So how did I know? By the word of what? It can take you to 100 years of your background in the family to show you. So don't tell me that, you see, there's nobody in the family I can ask, I can talk to. Talk to the Holy Ghost. He showed me. And I'm a product of the word of knowledge. Stand to your feet. Here am I. Use me. Here am I. Use me. As the Lord wants somebody. Here am I. Use me. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our prayer this morning. If you are sincere, if you are holy, if you are filled with the Holy Ghost, if you are a child of God, here am I. He's willing to use you, but you must give him time in the place of prayer and worship. In the place of, that's why I said, when there is worship in this house, Nobody cross the door. No usher move. No protocol move. Nobody move. Cameramen don't move. You don't go nowhere. And from today, I begin to suspend anyone that violates this order. That is a worker in the ministry. You can't be at the gate when the gate is supposed to be closed during worship. And you are distracting our attention. The choir is worshiping and they're looking at those who are coming in and going out. And you see a protocol walking around with the spirit of wakajubeism. It ought not to be. When we are worshiping, is the time to give God the maximum of you. Nobody should distract your attention for any reason. Who didn't come till we start worship should wait. We are not the first church to start it. Here am I. Use me. That's our prayer this morning. Here am I. Lord, use me. As the Lord wants somebody, Lord, you use me. If kneeling down is not convenient for you, you want to lie down, lie down. If you want to kneel, you kneel, but not sitting. Here am I.
of my son. I'm looking for someone to use. I am an offering. At your feet, Jesus. My spirit, soul, and body. If you're looking for someone to use, here am I. But I like the other get the most together. I give you myself. Why? I give you myself.
everyone in the house here sing it to the Lord. instrument sees listen to what God is saying to your spirit now for he is here
It is the gift of your legs, the sacrifices of your legs and your heart in agreement that I desire, says the Lord. What moves me into your battlefield is your worship, your praise coming from your heart of gratitude. It moves me into your battlefield to fight for you. It's stronger than your demand. For the food I eat is praise and worship. Give it to me and I'll fight your battle. There is no battle that cannot be conquered by this weapon of praise and worship. For in the praise and worship, you seek my presence, you attract my presence. And when my presence comes, all mountains melt. If thou will do this for me, I will do greater than you ask me to do, says the Spirit of God. Father, we thank you for giving us this opportunity. Even though it was short, what it Take all glory. Take all honor. In Jesus' name. And everyone will say loud, Amen. Amen. Please give God a big clap offering. We return the 
Voice of freedom, begin to pray, 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 begin to pray. Baratana Nakata de de Baratana Mano. We soak him in the blood. 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 The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of For those of us that believe in the cashless policy, the church bank account number will be placed on the screens in front of you. If you have your tithe, please, can I ask you to come forward with your tithe? Whilst we prepare our offerings. As you come with your side to just talk to God. Lord, I've brought a percentage of what you have blessed me with. In honor to your word. In honor to spiritual instruction. Lord, through this seed in my hand. You will open financial doors for me. My business will prosper. The labors of my hands will prosper. My work, my career, my profession will prosper. This opens windows of abundance for me. I will have more than enough. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And I have the honor of taking the ordained ministers. Please, if you have your offerings, can I ask you to stand? Freedom, you have your offerings. Can I ask you to stand? Lift up your offerings unto Him. If you have extra to give and you notice a hand by your left and your right is lacking and you can spare, spare some. Lift up your offerings unto Him. Heavenly Father, this seed in our hands is a token of love, a token of appreciation, a token of thanksgiving for all you have done, for all you are about to do, and for all you are doing in our lives. By this seed, Lord, our hands will never lack offerings to give. 
receive this offering and receive our presence in Jesus' mighty name. Your majesty Who can compare I searched all over Cause any it's all that be rare Demons strangle at the mention of your name Mountain crumble and the sound of your voice Our battles are won by the power of your mighty hands We are strong cause we have a very big God All who are The sound of your voice, our battles are won by the power of your mighty hands. We are strong, cause we have every figure. 